This is gonna make me cry. I'm actually gonna cry, like I'm not even joking. Hello friends, it's LC. Welcome if you are new and if you're returning, welcome back. We are almost at release day for Fever Epilogue, which is so exciting, I'm so stoked for y'all. But I haven't even started the Fever era yet. And since all of you voted for me to continue my AT's journey in order, that's what we're gonna be doing today. And I'm going to be reacting to the Zero Fever Part One Diary film. So Detective Elsie is back on the case as we dive into this storyline a little bit deeper. But before we get started, I just want to say that I'm so sorry that it took me so long to upload. The last week has been really busy with my work and personal life, so I just didn't have the physical, mental energy to record. This experience has been so fun and I just want it to stay that way. And I think if I stopped enjoying it, that not only would my mental health begin to struggle, but I think the content would, would suffer as well. And I wanna make the best possible content for all of y'all. So thank you so much for your patience. I really appreciate it. Now, without further ado, let's get to the diary film. I'm very intrigued. Later. So for my drink of the day, I actually had some leftover blueberry soju from my last video. So I mixed that with what I had left in my fridge, which was orange bubbly. And I know that that doesn't sound like the best combination, but it's actually really good. Mm, the tanginess with the mixture of a blueberry, like I'm a fan. But don't forget folks, if you're drinking with me, please do so legally and responsibly. Are we ready? Let's go. <laughs> This intro is so cool, I love it. The universe is divided into many dimensions. Mm. This is the story where their dimensions are split into eight pieces again. Eight pieces, eight members. Oh, I remember the hourglass from the answer video. I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of callbacks to different things in this video. Okay, we're starting with Hong Jung, blue hair Hong Jung. Hmm. So are we in a warehouse here? Ooh, and the black figure with the suit and the hat that looks like a holotees? Hol holotees, I'm not sure. <laughs> I think that's what someone mentioned in the comments about those outfits. Hmm, he's got the hourglass. They're really testing their acting chops in this, eh? Hmm. So is that time going in reverse? Okay, Hunter's dream. Hmm. What's on those screens? I'm not sure. Anyways. TV <laughs> Hmm. Can I find them again? Oh. Hmm. 
Interesting. So it seems like from this that he's kind of suffered a big loss here. It seems like he kind of just wants to turn back time to get things, get his family back. Or at least that's what it seemed like to me. I'm gonna have to look up like, an explanation after the fact. But it seems like we're gonna get a storyline for each of the members. So let's continue with Song Hwa. Much to learn. Mm. So it seemed like that dancing girl really symbolized something. The idea of freedom, of letting loose. So I'm so curious now as to how all of these are gonna kind of connect. Williams Hmm. Interesting. So that was called Wu Young's choice. So was the choice whether or not to perform because of that stage fright? Or is it more so about choosing to not let the fear take over? Ah, oh, this is so cool. I'm so excited to kind of find out more about how all of these stories connect to one another. But let's keep going. Who do we have next? Oh, still going. <laughs> hmm. Oh, is this the warehouse where Hongjun was? Gyo-san's mm. time. Abuchi and I came. 자유롭게 꿈을 펼치라고 말씀하셨다. 제한된 자유. 
진짜로 웃을 수 있는 곳 내가 진짜로 자유를 느낄 때는 이들과 함께 할 때야 Does it make me cry? Hmm. So kind of like Wu Yang's there, it was a story about how the group takes them out of those moments of hardship being able to free him from that cage But let's watch Stan's resolution 다시 이사를 간다고 한다. 음. 세계의 학생증 세벌의 교복 하지만 친구는 아무도 없다. 내 삶은 어딘가로 끌려가는 것 같다. 이렇게 또 okay. 친구들과 헤어지는 건가? 아직 남아 있는 형의 공간. Where's his brother? 형이 이렇게 되면 나 때문이야. What happened? His dream come true was his dream to be a musician. <gasps> no, no, he did not get hit by a car. Is that real? Please don't tell me that's real. Okay, I gotta look this up because I can't keep going <laughs> until I find out. 
Okay, thank God. <laughs> it seems like he has a younger brother and that he's being described in the present tense, so that's good. Oh, what a relief. Okay, <laughs> let's continue with Zhang Ho's wanderings. saying that he had this dream of being a basketball player that was kind of thwarted so now he's afraid that this dream of being in music is going to be thwarted too oh my gosh all of these are so emotional i'm afraid for minkies now <laughs> i'm afraid for my life but we're gonna do it we're gonna do it minkies diary <laughs> I would rather be alone than encounter this world. origin story, you know? Is he gonna do it? I'm gonna turn back time. Uh, what? <laughs> 
No, no, I feel like I want to start right now. I want to launch into this because that felt like such an origin story, you know, of where all of these eight members came from. So now I'm going to do a little bit of research for an explanation of what I just watched. <laughs> So I just read a comment posted by someone named Hanji below the video. So from this person's theory, it seems like these storylines were fictionalized versions of each of their origin stories. I'm just going to take some screenshots and post them on the screen. So if you'd like to read this person's theory, just go ahead and pause. It seems like a lot of these stories are really focusing on some of the insecurities that they had. For example, Sung Hwa saying that he really didn't like who he was and that he'd constantly try to hide his face. Or that Woo Young was scared to pursue his dream because of the fear of being looked down upon by the community. But then some of them are a bit more literal, like Sam's storyline. And as far as the significance of the hourglass, this theory from this person said that the entire time the hourglass has been reversing, it's been representing the ability to have more time. And the members approaching Hong Jung not only represented him not being alone anymore, but also the fact that because they all joined ATs, each member has a chance to overcome the part of their life that made them the most unhappy. So I love that concept of all of them making each other stronger. And eight does truly make one team fighting. So uh, I'm just so touched by this. And like I said, I'm so excited to get into the FIFA era now. I don't want to wait. I feel like I'm going to film my next video right now because... I just need to start. But first of all, before I get too ahead of myself here, I would love to hear some of your theories about this video, what you think that some of the different parts might mean. I'd be very curious to hear your interpretations. So please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe. I would very much appreciate it and I will see you next time.